Hey, it's Rachel from All About Planners. In this video, I'm doing a review of the HEMA Bullet Journal. So if you haven't heard of HEMA, it is this kind of shop with a mismatch of everything that they have all across Europe. There's tons of them. They've got lots of cute, cheap stuff, including a nice stationery section where I stumbled across this nice notebook. They did have a couple of other designs as well, like there was a cute little dog one that I almost got, but I did really like the stars and just the gold foil effect. Let's zoom in showed a little shimmer and the best part was this was only five euro which is so cheap for a dock grid notebook and I forgot the second part that's really good it's bright white paper so the page size is about 5.75 inches wide by about eight and a half inches high it is like a glue stitch binding it's only about I'd say a centimeter thick and it has like a cardstock cover so it's so lightweight it feels like it weighs pretty much nothing so if we open up, there is no index or contents or anything like that. It's just a straight dock grid notebook. There is also no page numbers. So if you want to try out a couple of um, spreads, like draft them up, then maybe use one of these notebooks. And then I usually save my numbered ones for the actual bullet journaling. So as you can see, really nice bright white paper. I zoom in a bit. It is the usual five millimeter uh, dock grid spacing and this one they leave a little bit of excess more so than some of the others up the top and the bottom. I have counted the dots across and down so if you're interested in that it will be with the blog post that will accompany um, this video. The link will be in the description box below. So as always pen test most important thing. So bright white the bright white paper was really nice and smooth to write on. As for ghosting and bleed through for five euro, kind of to be expected that there would be some. The ballpoint and the gel pens actually fared a lot better than I thought they would. They didn't go too bad, but the marker pens had some bleed through and of course the maybe stamps. Highlighters were okay. They weren't terrible, but you can still see some pretty obvious uh, ghosting happening. So for five euro, can't really complain. I mean, it's really cheap. It's nice bright white paper. I have yet to find a bullet journal that has perfect paper. So this one's pretty good, I'd say, for the price. The pages do lay flat on their own if you break the spine. So by break the spine, I mean where you turn it over and you go like that and you sort of bend the pages back a bit, as you can see here, um, bend the pages back a bit and then they will lay flat on their own. So if I just show you, see how they're laying flat? So. I do really quite like this notebook. Um, I do think it's worth it. So if you're heading to a HEMA, I would definitely pick one up. Um, just one last thing to note, there's no pocket folder at the back, but I don't really tend to use those anyway, so it's not a big deal for me. But if that is for you, maybe just keep that in mind. You could DIY one, stick it to the back cover. Um, but really the main reason you would get this is the bright white paper. The paper quality is okay and it's cheap. I will include the link uh, below if you want to see the other dock grid notebooks that I got while I was in Europe. Um, there were some other ones that were like nice bright white, but this one would have to be definitely my favorite um, with the bright white paper. So I'll have those links in the description box below. 